No, that ain't what I think it is. Is that what I think it is? Take it with it. That means that ain't to ring the bell. Let people know the black market is open. Wow. And you know, once you get to walking around the black market, ain't no telling where you may end up. You may end up in the bookstore. Oh. You may end up all the way down on the far end getting your credit fixed. For sure. You you might end up in the food court, um, party store. We bring all kinds of people through the black market, J.O.N. And today, it's like family in here. This yes. is, a, you know, she's been across the street over here <laughs> in the other studio holding it down, making sure all the guests stay lit. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? She even got a whole little box of <laughs> secret surprises. And I got all the information, everything you want to know. Yeah. Um, so you, I'm going to make sure you don't leave nothing out. So mixes on. Yes. Miss Ty Nicole Tucker. That's yes, me. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. Now I know people who watch this show, they might be like, where have I seen her? Where have they seen you? You look kind of familiar. You look familiar. <laughs> Hi, hello everyone. I am Ty Nicole Tucker. I am the resident mixologist and bartender for Poor Minds. <laughs> yeah, give me the <laughs> most I love how you keep all the guests good over there. Because yeah. they sneak up on them about, about I say about a third through the episode. They're like, yeah, hey, I'm good, but I do another one. Like, you, you keep them coming back. So yeah. welcome to the black market. And, and we want to get the secrets behind the success of what you got going on and everything. Mm. Yeah, it's been fun. I, I appreciate the opportunity. Um, I've been a bartender for five years. Right. I've had my own business for two and a half years, so Mixie. Um, and we are a boutique mixology brand. We're based Hold out on. of- I just thought of something. Uh -huh. You left out a credit. You left a credit out. What did I leave out? That's why Jay and Wayne got tight back then. Uh-oh. 85. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. I couldn't believe you ain't telling them. I was going to get there. Oh, okay. okay. I was going to, it was going to build up. Okay. I had a whole script on it, my too. Bad. Let me just say that. <laughs> Let me just sit back. I do it all. So I, I will say that I, can I say that I'm the resident bartender for 85 South? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if we're going to be doing let's any do, type of events and luxuries and sippings, it's, <laughs> it's going to definitely come from you. Yeah. So I do it. I do a lot. Um, I, the goal of So Mixy is to pretty much provide an experience for our clients, right? We teach classes. We do private client events. We do mobile bartending. Um, we have our line of products. So it's awesome to be able to work with 85, 80 Vibe, Poor Minds, and a lot of our premium clientele. And what our goal is, is to teach you how to craft your own cocktails, you know, with beautiful garnishes, flavor pairings and all, mm. right from the comfort of your home. Mm. And so on Poor Minds and on 80 Vibe, I walk you through the ingredients, the measurements, um, garnishing, how to do all of those things. And, and you could do it right along with me. You'll have the measurements and everything. Mm. Mm -hmm. So what's in this box? This is our mix kit. So I told you we teach classes. We teach them virtually and we teach them in person. And in the mix kit, it has all the ingredients that you need to craft those cocktails. So there's a recipe card inside. You'll have your mixers. You see that syrup? We make all of our syrups in-house, small batch. We have different flavors. And we try to be very conscious about what ingredients are going inside of them. So a lot of herbs, a lot of honey, a lot of agave instead of your pure cane sugar. Mm. Um, so you'll get two syrups and then you'll get the other mixer ingredients, including your garnishes, your salt for the rim of your cocktail, anything you need to make that cocktail just as beautiful if you were going to like a speakeasy or one of your local lounges. Mm. Mm. Okay, so you know the the mixology crowd, mm -hmm. that's a different crowd, you mm -hmm. know, connoisseurs of fine drinks. Yes. So I want you to tell the fellas that the ladies are drinking this. Ooh. 
Mm. It's getting a little chilly. Do a little Netflix and chill right at home. Ladies love tequila. Go get a bottle of tequila, a little Terramano, you know what I'm saying? Add a little, uh, we'll do a little cider. Add a little ad apple cider, maybe a little orange liqueur, a little lemon juice. And then of course, our rosemary and sage honey. Shake that up, put it over ice, garnish it with a beautiful rosemary or sage leaf. You know, you gotta smack it a little bit before you, that's, that way that's the first thing she's gonna smell. Right. You know, present that to her, put a little garnish. I got a little lemon on here, right. dehydrated lemon, ready to Should go. Should fellas get real creative for the fall and, and, and venture off into pumpkin spice? Nah, <laughs> <laughs> pumpkin spice is coming fast, yeah. Okay. <laughs> a little chai, maybe. Ooh. You know, a little cinnamon, a little nutmeg. Yeah, you can have a lot of fun with that. So what you what you got mixed up for us today? So this one, this one does have bourbon. Um, I am a brand ambassador for Uncle Nears. Are you familiar with Uncle I'm Nears? I'm familiar with yeah. Uncle Nears. Yeah, so. Shout out to Kenny Burns and all the good people over there, Uncle Nears. Yeah, yeah, it is a black owned brand, a black owned uh, whiskey out of Tennessee. This one has their rye expression in it. So this one, I like rye, it's a little peppery um, to taste. But this is mixed with some lemon juice, some ginger liqueur. We have a little bit of lemon uh, lemon juice, and then I have a an artisanal tea that's mixed with it. So it has like lemongrass, strawberry, that's kind of bringing out some of those flavors. And then it's paired with that rosemary and sage honey. Mm. And then we have a little bit of Angostura bitters on top just to give it a nice, beautiful heart-shaped design. And then a dehydrated lemon. Well, I told you that there's only one, one drinker in here that I trust. With the uh, with their palate, and to know the difference between a good drink and a bad drink, mm -hmm. so I got I got my specialist <laughs> here today. Javier. Javier, aka <laughs> Lil Hand. <laughs> Lil Hand. Lil Hand. Don't do my man like that. No, I man, he now, can hold the whole thing. Now, Javier likes his drink strong. <laughs> I make I make him drinks on the show for poor minds. I know he so Jump in here with us, Javier. Cheers, Javier. Now, see, I feel like Javier is a universal drinker because he can drink with the old men mm -hmm. and he can drink with the ladies. I think he might like it because he loves Hennessy. So he loves a dark instead of always doing tequila. Right. So I think this is going to give you some of that um, that dark spirit. It's, it's on point. Yeah. Thank you. See? Now get out of here. <laughs> Go over there and drink your little drink. <laughs> <laughs> So how can they get get the box? So you can order this all Hold on, on that, that, that's going to sound crazy. <laughs> hey. The mixology box. Mm. So mix it. I'll tell you both ways, actually, if you want to know. But no, Do your thing. <laughs> Mm, um, if you want to order any of our products, you can find us on all platforms at So Mixy, S O M I X X Y. Um, our kits are there. If you want to book us for events, because like I said, we do a bunch of things. We right. we do our private events. If you need a bartender for you your know services. how like people have events and they just be like like paint and sip and they want to you you can you can merge events. Yeah, so we do that. I actually work with local artists and we call it canvas and cocktails. And so we basically take, the artist walks you through how to paint your canvas, and then I'll walk you through how to craft your cocktails right there. We'll have the full bar set up. So you'll have your bar mat, you'll have your mixing tin, your jigger. I'll walk you through all the tools you need right. that you're gonna have in front of you, and then the recipe cards and all the ingredients. And we'll walk, work those through the event. So when you're just out and you're not the bartender, what is mm. your drink of choice? Mm. So my go-to is called The Last Word. It's a classic, it's a prohibition style cocktail. Originally, it's made with gin, green chartreuse, Luxardo cherry liqueur, and lime juice. I like mine with mezcal. So I'll remove the gin and substitute it for mezcal, which is a smokier flavor, very peaty. I was just about to say, you are a young lady and you out here drinking gin. I don't know. <laughs> were, you, were you raised by your grandfather or something? <laughs> Listen, I'm from Chicago. So we had a corner store at, at the end of my grandmother's block, and I would always see people coming in with Seagram's. I don't Bumpy drink face it. gin. Yeah. Now that shit is crazy. Seagram's or Tangeray. So I'm not a big gin lover. I will drink it. I will drink that in a French 75. That's probably my next favorite cocktail. I've seen one of my neighbors drop a, um, a washing machine down there, damn near three flights of stairs. He was drunk on gin, tried to 
take it up there himself. He got up and started falling. Do not do that at home. Don't try yeah, that at home. He started falling off. I was like, bro. Yeah, Jim make you sin. I'm, I'm really a tequila girl. Got tequila, mezcal. You got my heart. But I love a good bourbon. I actually just did a tour of the like, bourbon trail. Do you trail. like dark tequila? Or, or Reposado? Yeah. I like Reposado. Okay. Yep. Right. I like Reposado. A we just making a list. Javier putting it in his phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tequila has the world going crazy right now. Like, anytime I do an event, tequila sells out just like that. Like, yeah. people hit the bar asking for tequila first. So, yeah. your question about the guys, what to get? Tequila is probably going to be the number one thing. That ladies like. Unless you run into some girls from Chicago who like drinking gin. Yeah, well, see, well, Hendrix, Hendrix maybe. <laughs> do you do any wine? I do like wine. I like wine, but I like more of the sparkling. So I'll do a sparkling rose okay. instead of just a still wine. Okay. All right, but we got to get, since you're the mixologist and you know, you just go to bartender. What is what are like the top five drink? I mean, top five liquors people should keep at the house for company and guests and entertainers. Okay, you want me to do brands too? It don't have to. I mean, it's up to you. Okay. But I'm just. Okay. I would definitely say tequila. With tequila, you don't have to limit your cocktails that you make with it. Like you can do a tequila lemon drop. The girls love lemon drop. A little sugar on the rim. What? Yeah. They love a margarita, you know what I mean? So you, with tequila, you can kind of hit any type of cocktail. Um, so I would definitely say have some tequila, Blanco or Reposado, either one will do. Um, you can do a bourbon or whiskey, just to give like a little contrast to that. Um, definitely have a bottle of bubbles, maybe a bottle of wine, because that's the easy, especially if it's the first time somebody coming to the crib, Right. I might not try to jump in here first because tequila might get me a little looser than I'm trying to be. So just a bottle of bubbles, a little wine. Um, and if she a wild girl, maybe a little cognac, a little Hennessy. But that will tell me everything I need to know. I got to get you to, I got to get you to teach me how to make a good margarita. Okay. Okay. That's going to be my next step. I'm going to actually have to come in and I want formal training Okay. for like an hour. I'm going to get the guys together and you can show us how to make a So good. that's a part of my brand. We do that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you can do, we you can set up a we private gonna session. We're bring you over here Okay. and then we'll have a table. Okay. We want everybody to make a good margarita. And I know you don't drink. I can also teach you how to make mocktails. Uh-uh. I don't need <laughs> shit for me. Don't teach me how to make real shit. So when I'm the bartender, I get everybody towed oh, yeah. up. Yeah. 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 Um, they're like, he don't even. But he getting us towed up. That's my favorite part, honestly. Really? Just to watch the party change, like, cause you know when you come into an environment, people are sometimes nervous, like, I don't know, should I talk? They get a couple of shots, maybe a drink, and then they feel a little more comfortable. Right. So I love to watch that transgression or like transition of the crowd just kind of going from. Transgressions too. Okay. <laughs> You was right. Y'all know what you said. We didn't know about that. <laughs> but I love to watch it. So they go from chilling to they, okay, do a little dance. Now right. they feel comfortable. You know, jacket came off. Shoes is be, off. Shoes is off. Eyelashes gone. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. That's Oof. when the party was I live. love partying with the aunties like that. Javier, how you doing over there? Wow. Oh, okay. Okay. What's your social media so they can go find you and follow you and hit you with their question? Yeah, hit me anytime. www.somixy.com at somixy on all on all platforms, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, everything. All of our information, direct contact is in that link. Um, yeah, and if you're ready to turn up with us, you know, and we're also looking for bartenders. I train bar staff. We do bar activations, brand activations. So. If any brands are out there looking for um, maybe some upcoming activations for your company, let us know. We do that. How can they reach you directly, like email or yep. uh, business? Email somixyinc at gmail.com. But again, if you go to our website, all of that information, you can easily get in contact with me. Well, look here. Fellas, all y'all in the room, we about to learn how to make some good margaritas. <laughs> uh, we entertaining at the crib. Jeff, I know, look, he's excited. He's been wanting to do this. Year, so, yeah, we need you for an event. 
Yeah, I got come you. over and teach all the fellas how to do this shit at the crib. I would love to see that. All right, that's Y'all gonna shake it? You gonna shake it? I'm gonna hit him with the Spanish. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna hit him with this little Spanish, little shake. <laughs> you want one? You want one for two more? Yeah. So I'm ready. Let's do well, it. We appreciate you stopping by the black market. Thank you. And, uh, we gotta let everybody know the black market it's is open. open. Thank you for that. I'm the cold trucker. I'm the cold trucker. I'm the cold trucker. So mixes. Let's so take mixy. a photo.